Ricky, you know what? I'm getting sick and tired of doing the same old thing on YouTube week after week. I think we should switch it up. But first off, we need to figure out what's most important to us here on YouTube. The fans? Screw the fans, dude. It's about the money. You're right. But what should we do? Let's Plays. Ooh. Nintendo Let's Plays. Those bring in a lot of money. Let's watch that money flow right in. <laughs> Let's see how our Tetris Let's Play did on YouTube. Ooh. We're gonna be rich. Ooh. Let's see. It was another normal Friday night when Ricky and I were playing some video games, until our friend Mike, the reseller you guys all know, called us and told us he has a bunch of video games to sell. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty awesome when you have a friend who's a reseller that is willing to sell it to the collectors first at a better price. Let's see what he's got. Well, I did come across some... Sega Master stuff for you guys. Nice. I know. Ricky was needing a Master have, System. There's a Master System game. Cool. This game is a buck, and it's one of the worst games you'll probably ever play in your life. Yeah. So you have to buy it. How much is it? <laughs> a dollar. A dollar. I'll buy this it. game is horrible. It's, it's one of those games that you want to laugh about. War speed for the warp speed for the Super Nintendo. Mike saying it's the worst, one of the worst games ever. So and he's selling it to me for a buck. So. I'm gonna try it just for that reason. If it's terrible, we'll get a good slap on the cheek for him. <laughs> on film. I'll be back. Yeah. Now, Ricky, what you looking at over here? ET2 for the ColecoVision. Shut up. What are you looking at so far? <laughs> Show right. me a couple of them. Lemmings. Thanks for five bucks. Show me that, Ricky. That's actually a game that's, um... A little harder to come by, it's a Sunsoft game. Kind of reminds me of Pikmin in a way, but it's not that easy to come by. Street Fighter 2 box, just the fact that it's Street Fighter 2, I, and it's boxed, I got Heck yeah, dude. But, you know, just, so when you push so it, I have like, to get on the ground to show this. <laughs> this is the uh, iCade. Mike actually just gave this to us, so that is awesome. Thank um, you, From Mike. my understanding, that you put your iPad into this and you can play like, you know, any games you download from the app store, like what, Asteroids, stuff like that, and uh, you can play it on I, uh, iCade, so this is pretty rad, it's like arcade style, I know Metal Jesus is into a lot of this iPod, uh, iOS stuff, so. We just got all the arcades. Arcade Impossible? Yeah, haha, <laughs> take that! No, so, <laughs> this is cool. So, and uh, we got a free water too, so, yeah. Agua. So that night was obviously a success for us. It was really cool to get some good games at some good prices, and especially getting some things for free. We're ever grateful for that. But you guys know how we are. The next morning we head out to another swap meet. Let's see what we get today. Hey guys, I'm Aaron. And I'm Ricky. And it's a nice sunny day already, and it's uh, getting close. Is it close to summer? No? I don't know. 21st? It's late spring. I don't it's a nice day. It's going to be a good day. We have a different filmer today, Andy, behind the camera. So, um, Say we're, hi, just, Andy. we're excited. So, let's go. Um, a lot of Xbox games. None that I have played too much. Uh, Jaws Unleashed, I have never heard of, but if it's anything like the first Jaws, it will be 
amazing. I don't know. These kind of games are like filler games for me. If you can get them for like a buck, it's worth it. How much are the games? Five. And that's what you don't accept. I don't know. I, I, you guys are gamers out there. Do any of you guys actually buy this type of game? I'm, I'm not making fun either. I'm just being serious. Personal trainer cooking. Like, if any of you are in culinary school, I'm serious. Like, would you ever buy something like this? I know people buy, like, that brain age stuff, so. I'm just wondering. Let me know. In the commentos. Ask them. Something to keep in mind when you find a place that has a lot of video games. Hold your breath. A lot of times they're going to know the prices. I know you can get really excited, but if you go to the swap meets often and flea markets often, you know they'll be here again. I used to think this was like a fun zapper game. It's gotcha. Um, it's like paintballing on the Nintendo. But I played it recently and it's not near as fun as I remember. I thought it was good. Yeah, man, dude. That's a great one. Returns? That's so good. Pretty much one of the funnest Batman. It is so much fun. For back in the day Super Nintendo, it's good. No, that's a really good, it's a beat em up too. It's, it has like the best like, sound effects on a Batman. Okay. Maybe even comparable to the NES Batman. Original. So something that I always find really funny is when you ask people how much something is, and their response is, give me five dollars. Uh, that one, give me five dollars. I'm like, how much is this game? Give me three dollars. How much is this game? Give me four dollars. I'm always like, oh, I'll give you four dollars. The way they say it's so like assertive, but... And by the way, today, um, no good prices yet. Um, we've seen a little bit decent amount of games, nothing good, but everybody's kind of sucked on prices. Yeah. So, pity party for us, but we're going to keep looking. It's so early. These people have a later model Genesis, and they got the two good dream, uh, Dreamcast Genesis controllers. The six buttoners. These are way better, because you don't have to press start to switch between, like, punch and kicks on freaking fighting games. So, uh... But I already have a couple. And I don't need them. I don't need them anymore. I don't need them. Why am I doing that? <laughs> Frick. Sweet. Ricky ended up getting it for three bucks. They wanted five. Ricky said three. We walked away and then they came chasing after us. That's the that's way right. chasing go. No. That's the way the pursuit plays out. We can't <laughs> say that's the way game chasing go. We're not allowed to say that. I didn't that. say game chasing. I said chasing. Same thing. No. It's different. I guess it's a little right, bit. Alright, PlayStation 2. Tony Hawk's Underground. Something you guys probably didn't know about this game is... It was developed in America in the third millennium by a group of Eagles who were actually playing basketball in a semi-pro league. The more you know. There's a game series out there that's pretty hard to collect for, but I'm going to complete the collection. I recently just decided. They're pretty hard to get and pretty rare and pretty darn expensive. But I got my first one today. Let's see how it went. Look what I got! My collection has begun. Mary Kate and Ashley Winner's Circle. I don't have this one yet. I have got I've got maybe like five of them so far, so it begins today. And a buck? Yes! Oh, it's okay. So our game hunting day is over, and this is who filmed for us, our friend Andy. Andy, how was your first experience with us game hunting? Pretty intense. Was it like legendary and something you'll never forget? I'd say it is. Now, some people might take this as an honor or disgrace, but Andy? <laughs> While we were driving home, my wife called me and said, I have about an extra hour of free time. So Ricky and I decide to go to one more stop. So we've decided that we have a little extra time. So we're going to a Goodwill. To a Goodwill. And we haven't been to a Goodwill in a while. Okay. We don't have a cameraman though. Yeah. So it's going to be a little ghetto. I mean, this is like back to our, what, first five episodes we had no cameraman? Yeah. Which is still fun. So the camera's about to fall because we're going to drive. So let's see. Whoa! Got it!
When you're walking through a Goodwill or a Savers or a thrift store or something of that nature, something you should always be doing is not only looking where the video games normally are. You never know what you're going to find in some weird places. These were both in between the books. Super Street Fighter 2 and Mortal Kombat 3. Nice. They were literally like this. And look at the condition on it. And, well, bam! How much? Buck 99 each. So, oh, yeah. I'm not going to complain. So, I'm excited. Sometimes at Goodwill's, like, you can just look in, like, random spots. One time I found, like, hang time between the books. So I figured I'd look and go figure these were here for buck 99 each. So, Goodwill, nothing else so far, but a win today. Another win. Hooray for Goodwill. So that day at the swap meet, combined with the night before with all those video games from our reseller friend, we had a pretty great weekend of video game collecting. Like I always say, it's not about the mass quantities of game you get, it's about the memories, the times you share, and heck, it's about the freaking Del Taco! But now, let us take a closer look at our pickups. What's up everybody, Aaron here. And Ricky. Chris, our cameraman, has been in Greece for two weeks. Chris! So we, uh, we miss him, but we had Andy, our buddy, fill in for us. Andy was also the guy that helped hang some of this drywall up here. He was in one of the episodes a while back. Um, so yeah, we're thankful to him and uh, thankful to everybody. And uh, we're thankful for you guys, as yeah. always, for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, this is where we do the pickups in our videos. And this is uh, where El Ricardo normally takes the first Ricky step. Ricardo. Ricky Ricardo. Show it, Donkey Kong Jr. I love the cover, so I had to get it, and three bucks wasn't bad. Yeah, the cover art, cover art on it is my favorite thing about it. I know we don't need to explain the game. Um, if you guys haven't played yeah. a Donkey Kong or Donkey Kong Jr. game, then that's shocking that you're even watching this. So yeah, if you, if you look at it, he looks like Waluigi. He does. I'll, I'll, I'll put a picture up. So yeah, he looks really cool. <laughs> and then uh, this is actually not at the Swami, but it's from this week. So X5, Mega Man X5. Sorry. Which is awesome. Awesome game. Which is basically a beefed up version of all the other Mega Man X's, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4. Who doesn't like playing a Zero? Yeah, playing a Zero and the graphics are fantastic. As always, Mega Man's psh, never really screwed up <laughs> in my opinion. No. Except by not releasing some of the games recently, but come yeah. out. Come out, please. 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 Spider-Man 2, then. <laughs> hey, do you remember when Tobey Maguire went all emo on Spider-Man 3? I got... I never played it, have you? No, I literally just got it. But so. the original was good, so... It was fun. Uh, the original Spider-Man on PS1 was a great game, so... I still think one of the coolest, like, systems when you turn on is the original PlayStation. That noise, and it makes... It's, it's like, such a clean noise. I love it. Oh, it is good. Really good. This one I actually got right after the swap meet, when me and Aaron kind of split ways at a yard sale for two bucks. Mario Party. Did someone say Mario Party? Pretty fun. Most people I think love the it. original Mario Parties are better than the ones nowadays, so I don't know. They're all pretty good. Me and they're, Ricky actually had fun, fun though. We actually had a lot of fun. Oh, what was it? Eight. eight on the Wii. We played that like a, maybe a month ago and we like just turned it on kind of for fun, but we ended up playing that thing for a Dude, while. To like 12 or 1? It was like 1 in the morning. We started late. at like 8, so that was fun. If that's not late for you, sorry, we're... Yeah, <laughs> I'm like 9 o'clock, I'm like, help, but I don't go to bed at 9. I edit till like 1 in the morning every night, so... <laughs> Legendary Wings. Which is fantastic. Aaron knows more about this game than I do. It's a shoot 'em up but there's also like the side-scrolling shoot em up stages, and uh, the music's great, the graphics great, it's Capcom. Um, it's a very good game. I definitely, definitely really recommend it. An NES game, and they're not that expensive, so you can pick nice. them up. Pick them up! Alright, for me, um, first of all, the best thing ever, Mary-Kate and Ashley Winter Circle. <laughs> yeah. all right, I'm not gonna lie, I put it in and it was funner than I thought. It was, it was still stupid. And you guys, I was kind of joking about the collection thing for Mary-Kate, but at the same time, I'm kind of serious. Oh, yeah. I might start buying them just to kind of He's serious, do guys. it, because we've been goofing around with Mary-Kate games for so long that I think it's time We're for me to <laughs> complete the collection. You're gonna dedicate a whole piece of the wall to it. That'd be <laughs> awesome! Uh, Mary-Kate and Ashley Wall. Uh, hopefully you guys can tell me how this is gonna be. I, I post on our Instagram and a lot of you said that there's better ones out there but I think I'm gonna give it a chance um, if I find time especially but um Pokemon Ranger which as you guys know I've never played a Pokemon game actually a little bit of Pokemon snap I played around with those but never like this the RPG type yeah I'm excited I'm actually excited it looks really fun on the back it looks I, more fun than I if, than it, I, than if I it's like it. yellow blue and the red it'll it's cool he was played them more than I did so yeah. obviously anybody has if you've ever turned one on because I've never played it the next thing I got is something I was excited to get the light phaser for the Sega Master System 
Ricky just got one. I just got one. The from, same episode. From yeah. Mike, yeah. From Mike, our uh, buddy. Second to last thing for me is G- Goodwill. Yeah. Between the books. Mortal Kombat 3, which I think is our favorite Mortal Kombat in the Super Nintendo. It probably is, yeah. They got better. It's uh, not as slow. I would say part one, but yeah, it's part so one for the slow. Part one for nostalgia reasons, because it's the first one, and it was yeah. like shocking when you played that as a kid. Like The blood, you're like, oh my god! My last thing that I also got at Goodwill, Capcom game that you guys this all know, is awesome. Super Street Fighter, and the label on this is really good condition. Good. And for the price, yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, for $1.99, so as we said, guys, like I say in these videos, man, if you can look around in Goodwill, I know that that's a good tip. Don't just, don't only go to the video game stuff, so. Yeah. The only football game I really ever played was like Blitz. Tecmo Bowl. Because I'm not much Oh, Blitz a, was fun. Yeah, though. I'm not like a sports guy, so. I mean, I know I'm like super burly and macho, so you would think I am. You know, I was a linebacker for the Detroit Maverick Wed Wings. Like the videos. As always, weekly videos if you guys are new. Yeah. We say this on our NES Pursuit videos because we put out videos every week. It's not always going to be NES Pursuit, as I like to say. I think it's going to be like every other week for those because time and money. I mean, but a video a week, no matter what. Well yeah. done. And last week's video, my top five gaming moments, did, that really, was cool. did really well, too. People seemed to love it and yeah, did it well good. for us. So thank you guys for enjoying that and checking that out. Subscribe. It's free. I, I, someone one time asked me how much it was to subscribe. <laughs> Dude, it's free. Yeah, it's, it's just a way to keep updated with what we're doing. Do we have anything a else? A dollar. Yeah, it's, it's a dollar. Just send it to our PO box now. Oh, you know, I do have one more thing. Uh, June 1st, if you guys are in California or yeah. want to come down, That's cool. uh, there's a thing called SC3 and it's um, in Santa Ana. June 1st, it's only five bucks to get in. Get in. It's at a place called The Last Arcade um, and we're going to be there. Hanging out with some other people, friends, YouTubers, playing games. A lot of people are bringing games to trade and sell. So that's it. So um, we'll see you guys next week and uh, we don't know what we're doing, but we'll be here next week. So adios, muchachos. Surprisingly, we're both married and not gay. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Did you hit that same thing I hit that one time? I that know. nail? I got a cut on there. <laughs> oh! Uh -huh. Dude, Ricky. Yeah. Let's see how our Tetris long long play. Take two. <laughs> Dude, Ricky. Yeah. Let's see how our freaking I can't remember the darn name what we did. Let's play. Let's play. Long play. All right. All right. Take three.